It sure sounds ominous, period of maximum constraint. And it will be, that three-week period with no tunnel and no viaduct, making downtown travel a bit of a nightmare beginning January 11th. Here's what SDOT says it's doing to prepare right now. It's adding more public transit service, like buses, to move people more quickly on the busiest routes. They're also adjusting signal timing downtown, specifically on 2nd and 4th avenues to keep vehicles flowing. You might notice more traffic cameras and travel time detectors these days. That helps engineers keep an eye on the road and decide how to improve the flow in real time. Also to plan ahead, SDOT is giving ORCA cards to Seattle high school students to encourage bus and train travel. The tunnel is designed to help the flow of traffic downtown, but during the so-called period of maximum constraint, things will get worse before they get better. Now the city's also trying to find ways to minimize the impact of all the construction down here on the new traffic flow. Again, we're expecting an update today from the city about how those preparations are going. We'll keep you posted.